Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be my August favorite second to present the title so I'm super duper excited to share these products with you guys today it's because I've not actually filmed the monthly favorites if you guys have noticed since the past maybe 2 or 3 months I'm not exactly sure and the main reason I've not done that is because I feel like I was just using the same products over and over again I didn't want to like just do a repeated video where I'm talking about products I've already used and all of that so yeah that's majorly why I literally film a favorites but um this month I actually have I feel like quite a few new additions to my like the products I'm using currently and loving currently kind of like section in my collection. So I was like you know what I want to take all these products and film my favorite videos with uh, my favorite video my favorite video with them. So yeah that's majorly why you're seeing this video today. And without any further ado, let's get started because I have quite a few things to talk about. So the first thing that I had is this right here. This is the Body Care Acne Control Face Pack. Now I don't know if I've mentioned this earlier in maybe a, favorite, a previous favorites video or not. But it's something I feel like I've not spoken about this since a while in my channel. So I just wanted to give it like an honorable mention. So like you can see, I don't have a lot of product left in here. I have maybe like two or three uses left and then I'll be completely done with this. So yeah, uh, this is one that I use every single time I'm doing like a face mask which is the... Uh, say once in a week or so this is what i use to get rid of all the impurities dirt and gunk that has been on my face throughout the week and i just it's a great um, clarifying purifying sort of a face mask that just gets everything up to the surface and that's what i really like about this but i will say that it's something if you have oily or combination skin it's going to work great for you but if you have normal or dry skin it's going to probably be just a little bit drying because even though i have i would say combination to i feel like normal skin now it can be a little bit drying on the skin uh not specifically where you can see like dry patches or something like that but it does feel a little bit like stretchy and tight so um, I would recommend that you use like a hydrating essence or like a hyaluronic acid serum after you use this on to give like a little bit of hydration to the skin so that it doesn't get like very dry. So yeah, that's what I have to say about this but I still do really really like the product. And so how affordable this is, this is like what 80, 90 bucks or something like that. That's 89, so 90 rupees. It's very very affordable, you get like what 100 grams of product in your so that is a great value and I would highly 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 recommend this. Moving on next to two products which I feel like I'm kind of cheating when I mention them because it is something which I've used in the past already. It's not like I've just opened them today but I have used them like today I think the second day or the third day I'm using them. So it's not been a very long time since I've been using them but I already know these products are going to be my absolute favorite in like a week or 10 days or so at least for sure like they're already a favorite this is why i'm mentioning them and the reason i can tell so quickly is because these are uh, gel based products and for me personally gel based products are my absolute favorites so that's the reason why i know that they're going to be absolute favorites so the first one is the vlcc radiance glow sunscreen gel it's got an spf of 30 pa triple plus so it says that it controls oil boosts radiance and reduces pigmentation. I don't really know about the boost radiance or reduces pigmentation claim, but I definitely feel like it does control oil because it is more of like a mattifying gel sort of sunscreen. It's very similar to the Lotus UV Stream Matte Gel or the Lacme um, gel sunscreen that they have, which also has an SPF of 50. So those obviously have a higher SPF, but in terms of consistency, I feel like all the three are the exact same. And the main reason I've been loving this one and also the next product that I have to talk about which is the Nutrigena Hydro Boost Water Gel. I'll talk about this in a while. But the main reason I've been really using them now is because I've noticed that my skin is not doing very well right now. Like, I don't know how well you can tell on camera right now but like this entire area and parts of my cheek here are covered in like small pimples or like acne like all over. Because my skin is super duper clogged up right now for some reason and it's been breaking out and I've been trying a lot of things to make it work. I face mask to make sure that like my pores are all clean and everything and it's still for some reason like I see one or two new breakouts every day and some of the old ones are like slowly dying down. It's just my skin is going through a phase right now and it's probably like a hormonal thing so I'm just gonna let it be. But what I need to do right now is to just let my skin Breathe 
and that's the reason why I feel like gel products are more uh, like suited right now rather than like your regular creams and all of that. I've not been doing my nighttime skincare routine as well for a while now because I feel like in the night I just want my skin to grey and uh, that's the reason I feel like gel based products are like more lightweight on the skin and they let your skin be a little bit more and it's not too like clogged up or anything like the chances of my skin be clogging would be a lot lesser so yeah that's the reason I've been really loving them and I know that I'm going to be using them constantly for a while now because once I get into something which I really love it's very difficult for me to like move on from it and use like something else until unless it like gets over or something but yeah that's the reason I've been loving these and yeah I forgot to talk about this one so this one is like a blue color gel and it's just super duper lightweight feels absolutely amazing on the skin it's very very hydrating um, even though it's gel based but I don't feel like my skin is going to get dry throughout the day because it's a lot of hydration and uh, it's just a great 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 feel good moisturizer which I feel like will take care of my skin throughout the day so I don't need to worry at all and yeah I just really 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 like it so yeah that's what I had Moving on, next we have uh, two products from Mini. So I actually have one more product to talk about. But we'll talk about these two first because they're from the same range. This is the Mini Soul Lavender series. I spoke about this in like a uh, first impression morning skincare routine video. So we have the Lavender Moisturizing and Balancing Essence, which is again super duper lightweight. Doesn't feel too heavy or sticky or greasy on the skin, and it's just amazing. I definitely prefer my um, Mini So. Um, I think the moisture essences is what they were called, the entire way. I definitely prefer those over these for some reason. I don't know what it is. But I think it's just in my head. They're all pretty much very similar to each other. But uh, I just like how watery they were. This I feel like is more like a serum essence. That is more watery. So I think that's the reason I like that one more. This one is also absolutely amazing. And it works very well with its bigger brother. And that is the moisturizing and balancing the lotion. Again, super duper hydrating. I was using this constantly, but then when I started breaking out a lot, I thought that you know what? I want to let my skin breathe a little bit and I want to stop using uh, very thick products which can be uh, a little heavier on the skin. It's also a very gel cream consistency, so it's not very heavy, but uh, it's still heavier than uh, this combination that I'm using right now. So that's the reason why I kind of stopped using this, but I've used it for a while. I've used up like around this much already so I have to say that it's great for hydration it feels absolutely amazing like you look like you've drank like a gallon of water that is how hydrating your skin looks when you put this on so yeah if you have dehydrated skin or dry skin I think it's going to be absolutely amazing for you you have to check it out if you can find it in a mini soap near you moving on to the last mini soap product that we have before we move on to the last thing that I have to talk about in this video this is the Miniso Green Tea Extra Moisture Shining Skin Peeling Gel. Uh, again, this is one that I mentioned in one of my first impression videos and I got a few questions from you guys about how frequently you could use it, how it's working for me and all of that. This I feel like is a more affordable alternative. I mean, I'm assuming it's a more affordable alternative to the Face Shop Peeling Gel. I do want to try out that as well after I use this. So I can give you like a comparison and tell you if this is a dupe, like an affordable alternative that you can go for or not but yeah this is also something i've been really loving because i basically take a little bit of this on my hand and then just apply it like massage it all over my skin and i can literally see my skin peeling and like coming out in like white flakes of sorts and it's a very satisfying feeling the first thing Secondly, I will say that my skin definitely looks a lot smoother when I use this regularly because I'm getting rid of all the dead skin that was on my uh, like on my face. That's the reason I really really like it, and it's something which has very quickly become a part of like my regular skincare routine. And I've been absolutely obsessed with this. I think it's definitely a product which all of us should include as a part of our skincare routine because I mean. It's very important that if you want your skin to look glowing and radiant, you get rid of all the dry dead skin and exfoliate regularly so that you make sure that your fresh skin is what is like the top layer. It's supposed to be fresh skin because if you have dead skin sitting on fresh skin, it is going to look lackluster and dull no matter what you do. So yeah, after I started using this, I've understood how important that is because my skin looks so much more 
brighter glow your radiant and that's what I absolutely freakingly love about this again I would recommend that you go like any peeling gel does not really matter but go for something like that because you are definitely going to be seeing great results with it and also I got a lot of questions in that video as well as to how regularly you can use it um, I don't think this has um, any ingredient which is um, okay it does have alcohol but that is like the fourth or the fifth ingredient so I don't think that's something to be very uh, I mean of course it is it's important but uh, the first ingredient is water so that makes me feel good uh, but yeah what I was majorly saying is that I don't see any acids or something in this so it's not like an acid based uh, exfoliator so I think it does and I have used this on days I mean sometimes I just use it like regularly like every single day sometimes it's like every alternate day or something like that and I haven't noticed any peeling I mean of course there is peeling but I mean like peeling of the actual skin or like a lot of redness or any reactions or something I have not noticed any of that so I will say that you can use it as regularly as you want to it's not going to really be a problem so yeah that's something a lot of people were actually concerned about so I thought I'll just quickly address that towards the end and moving on to the last product that I have this is the cell on uh, CA Dazzling Snow Serum so it's basically like a vitamin C serum and this is the vitamin C serum that I've been using right now and uh, what I personally really love about this one is that uh, firstly this one hasn't oxidized it's completely clear so the serum is completely clear so that makes me feel a little bit good because if you remember the Keenum serum had oxidized when I was using it but it's still working pretty well for me but I have seen a few videos where I've been uh, like I've heard this uh, but you're not supposed to use uh, oxidized uh, vitamin C serums at all. You're supposed to pass it off. So, uh, yeah, this one is totally clear. So, that's something which is pretty good enough. And I believe this is a more stabilized version of vitamin C. So, it's not going to like go bad very easily. And the main reason why I really, really, really like this one is specifically because, again, it's a very, very lightweight vitamin C serum. I feel like most vitamin C serums can be a little bit, like, again, that's what I've heard is that uh, most of them can be a little bit more stickier on the skin but this one is very very lightweight so it doesn't feel very heavy or greasy because majorly when you're putting on more skincare or makeup or you don't want something like very sticky as a base especially as a part of your skincare because then your makeup can may not really look that good it might look patchy etc so i think that is something which i really like about this one uh, in terms of how effective it is i've used it for i would say 10 days ish at this point so it's not a good enough time limit to give you guys like a full review so i will you i will keep you guys posted on that aspect so definitely stay tuned for that and yeah that's pretty much it for all of the skincare products majorly i think this was just completely a skincare favorites sort of a video so yeah that was pretty much it for this video i really hope that you felt like enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed filming this for you guys I will leave a link to everything that is actually available online in the description box so just in case you're interested in checking any of them out you can definitely do so and yes please 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 do subscribe to my channel because it would mean the world to me and also do the notification bell button which is next to the subscribe button because that way you will get to know every single time I post a new video and yeah thank you so 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 much for watching you guys until next time bye bye